back everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I'm not sure where you're at, but uh, welcome back to Spray Booth uh, Part 2. And this is all the technical part where we wire in the fan and just get it going. So right now I'm installing some uh, side shelves that I thought would be necessary when painting. It's nice to have lots of shelving, especially when I use some uh, scrap wood lying around. It basically costs nothing. All right, now coming up, you'll see uh, a couple extra things that I didn't show in the initial video. Uh, some are, one thing is some morettes I grabbed and they just connect the, the wiring that I also had to grab that uh, ignites the fan. And uh, you'll see the picture here. I personally just use a kitchen hood fan because I picked one up for about $25, $30 at Canadian Tire. And before you do any wiring, just check with uh, maybe an electrician because in your area, it might be different than ours. I'm just showing you how I hooked it up. Uh, in North America, it should generally be the same, but uh, that's my little disclaimer. I'm just showing you what I did. Uh, before you do it, just make sure uh, for whatever type of fan or lighting you're getting, you know uh, how to hook it up. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you the steps I did to read everything together then I use some electrical tape to hold everything together and just to keep it nice and tight and organized. I just wanted to show you guys the cheapest working uh, method possible. Once you have all your wiring complete and you confirm that everything you've done is correct, make sure you give yourself um, or at least not give yourself, but do yourself a test switch. Make sure everything works. So just keep in mind guys, all we're trying to do is on the other side of this fan is we're gonna have a filter and it's just gonna capture all of our uh, paint particles that we don't want floating around or getting on our models. And it'll suck everything out and any air will be um, exhausted through our uh, ducting that we're going to install next. So here I use an exhaust that's appropriate for uh, my kitchen exhaust fan. So you're going to have to do the same. Whatever type of kitchen exhaust or what type of fan you utilize, you're going to have to do the same. And here I use tuck tape just to ensure the seal around the edges of the tin. Uh, it just stays sealed. So you don't have to do this part, but I recommend it. It just ensures the seal. So when I initially designed the rear shelf, uh, I didn't account for the type of exhaust that you saw in the last couple of videos. So I just added a couple two by twos to uh, have clearance. And here I'm just installing another 
optional L bracket that keeps the fan attached to the back of the booth. Now here are a couple options of your exhaust going outside a garage or even outside a bedroom window. So the exhaust I got was 20 feet long and you can cut it to length if you need to and uh, just find an appropriate location. So here you see the shelves on the side. And, um, yeah, you could see a couple of the models that I was working on. And uh, you can see my lighting, how it lights the booth and lights my model area. So thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you soon in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.